See what happens if we actually do give it a go with our original example. You define your two pieces or your factors of your product as u and v. In fact, I usually write u and v over the top of my two things, just so I know which one is which. Not that it matters, it's symmetrical. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I now consider these, if I say dy on dx is equal to v times u dash. What's v times u dash in this case? It's x times 1. Like so. That's the v in vuv. So now I do the u v dash. Well, u is x and v dash is still 1. Which thankfully gives us the result we knew we were supposed to get in the first place. OK? Question? So, so say that we have two products, but to find differentiates of 1, we have to do chain rule. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, as a quick example, before I get you guys going on the um, on the exercises, uh, if I ask you asks you to differentiate this, mm, okay, let's have a go at something like this. Uh, I'll, I'll use this one. That'll do. There we go. Perfect example. Okay. Yes, of course, I could just expand the whole lot out, and then I could just use this. But I want to get out of here before the sun sets. So instead, I will take it in the form that it is right now. I will label, oh, where did I put my blue one? I will label each of the bits, u and v, u and v. And now I'm going to do the, pro <coughs> excuse me, the product rule on the basis of what I've defined as u and v. So I'm going to do it like this. Sorry. Uh, v, u dash. Here's v, the whole thing, right? So it's 3x minus 1 to the 7. That's v. What's u dash in this case? 2x. There's the first half of the product rule. Let's do the second half. It's u times v dash. There's u. And what's v dash in this case? This is actually easy enough that you could probably do it in your head. Hmm. You've got to do uh, the inside, and then you've got to do the outside. right? It actually doesn't matter which order you do it in. What's the inside derivative? It's just 3. What's the outside? Well, it's something to the power of 7. So you'd bring the power down, and then you reduce the power by 1. 7 u to the 6. Do, do you agree? So this is 7 u to the 6. See what I did there? There's the inside derivative. There's the outside derivative. Yes? You already called x squared u, and then you reused u as 3x minus 1. Yeah, too many u's. <laughs> this is where I would say, like if this is you getting a, <laughs> if this is your brain getting confused with too many different levels of substitution, then you would have to, you'd have to introduce more letters and you'd have to say, well, if this is u and this is v, I can't call this u as well. I'd have to call it w or z or something like that. Okay? Um, but I think this is a sufficiently simple example that I can get away with not doing that. Um, I could tidy this up just a little bit more. Um, I'll leave this guy out the front. I should put the 2x, I guess, out here. And then here, what am I going to get? Uh, 21 x squared, yeah? Does that make sense? Um, so it's a bit of a dog's breakfast, but there you go. That, that's what happens when you introduce a product. Things do get a little more complicated. Uh, in this case, you would be fine to leave your answer in this form because you've differentiated. That is the derivative. Um, almost certainly, though, and this will become a little more clear in the next topics that we're going on to, um, probably your next step from here would be to factorize. Um, you've differentiated successfully. So if all you're asked to do is differentiate, that's it. But more often than not, the next step that you would do would require you to factorize. So just for the sake of it, just because we've got it right here, what things can I factorize out? So the 3x minus 1 to the power of 6 is an easy thing you can see. So I'll, I'll put that out first. That's not the only thing you can factorize out though too, right? You can also factorize out an x. There's one here, there's two here, but I need common, right? So I'll chuck the x out there, which would leave me with, OK, let's see, two lots of this and 21x. Do you agree? Which again, I can simplify a little further. 
6x minus 2 plus 21x. So that makes it 27x. Yeah? And now I think we're done. Okay? So as I said, for the purposes of, okay, I, I'm having to go with the product rule. I'm just differentiating. That's all I've been asked to do. At, at this point here, good job. Well done. You're finished. Okay? But as you will see, it's not, it's not a bad idea to practice that further skill of factorization because it becomes so useful later.